significant figures in addition and subtraction. In this video, we will be adding and subtracting numbers and learning how to properly round the answers so that those answers have the proper number of significant figures. This is one video in a series of videos about significant figures, so I am assuming that you already know what significant figures are and why they're important, and I'm assuming that you know how to look at a number and determine how many significant figures there are. If you need help with those topics, I recommend watching the other videos in my playlist first. One important thing to know is that the rules for determining significant figures in an answer is different depending on the mathematical operation. So there's a rule for addition and subtraction, a rule for multiplication and division, a rule for logarithms, and so on. This is only about addition and subtraction. But our one and only rule is that the answer cannot have more significant figures to the left or right of the decimal than any of the original numbers. Let's do an example problem. Our goal is to find the sum of the mass of two coins. So we have coin A and coin B. We also have two different lab balances. Lab balance one, this is an inexpensive lab balance that does not give us very much precision. So using lab balance one, the mass that we measured for coin A was 5.54 grams. The mass that we measured for coin B was 2.26 grams. Now let's say the next day we were able to access a more expensive lab balance, a lab balance that gave us more precision. And we measured the mass of coin A again, this time on lab balance 2. And we got a mass of 5.542768 grams. This is the same coin being measured both times. This coin has the same mass both days. The difference is precision of our instrument. For whatever reason, we were not able to use lab balance number two to measure the mass of coin B. So we don't know this number. What this means is that we are limited to only knowing 2.26 grams. If we did measure this on lab balance number two, there would be four more digits here. We just don't have any idea what they are. But Let's find the sum of the mass of these two coins. I'm going to use our more precise number in both cases. Let's add these two numbers together. So 5.542768 grams plus 2.26 grams. If you type this into a calculator, the answer that a calculator would give you is 7.802768 grams. Your calculator assumes infinite significant figures, but these original numbers do not have infinite significant figures. Our limit is 2.26 grams. We only know up through this 100th place. We only know two digits after the decimal. We do not know these other four digits that we have for coin A. So, our rule had to do with digits before and after the decimal place. We only know digits in our answer if we knew starting numbers in that decimal place. So the ones place, we know both the five and the two. The tenths place, we know both the five and the two. The one hundredths place, we know both the four and the six. This one thousandth place, we know this two. We do not know what this number is. That means that we don't know that this is a 2 in the answer. 2 plus something, plus some mystery number. We can't say 2 plus some mystery number is 2. We do not know that. So we have a cutoff here. We only know all of our starting numbers up through two digits after the decimal place. That means that is what we know for sure in our answer. So even though a calculator gives you this number, you need to round it because your correct answer is 7.80 grams. Let's do some practice problems. 
So I have two problems written here, and I have the answers that a calculator would give you. But remember, when significant figures are involved, you cannot trust your calculator. What we need to do is to figure out how to properly round these answers. So our first problem, 89.332 plus 1.1. A calculator would give you 90.432. However, we are limited by this 1.1. Our first number, we have three digits after the decimal place. The second number, we only have one digit after a decimal place. I do not know what these two digits would be after the 1.1. That means that I don't know what was added to this three or to this two. So our cutoff is right after this tenths place. We know that three plus one equals four. All I know is this 90.4, so we need to round our answer. Our correct answer is 90.4. Now let's look at the second problem. 2.097 minus 0.12. A calculator would give you the answer of 1.977. However, our first number, we know three digits after a decimal place. Second number, we only know two. We do not know what this third digit was. We do not know what would have been subtracted from this seven. So this is our cutoff. We only know three digits. This is still a seven, so this ends up needing to be rounded up. So our correct answer is 1.98. Thanks for watching Chemistry in a Nutshell. If you feel that I've earned it, please like this video and subscribe to my channel.